Hey guys, it's uh, Carrie Ann from Tell Up Artwork. I'm back today with part two of um, Resin for Beginners tutorial. So today is all about what to use to color your resin. Um, I quickly want to just thank you for the answer I got, the positive answers from the first video. So I just thought I'll get out there and get the second one going straight away. Um, it's really exciting that you guys love it. So let's get going. What you want to use to color your resin um, some people will say, when I started doing resin, I looked at the tutorial, and some people would say you can use eyeshadow, nail polish, acrylic, paint. Um, I would not recommend it, to be honest. I've tried myself with acrylic, I haven't tried with nail polish or eyeshadow. If that's the only thing you've got at home and you just want to test resin, go ahead. But you've got to know that the amount you're going to use is actually going to affect the curing um, process of the resin. So if you use acrylic paint, really just use a tiny bit. It, it's probably not going to be perfectly opaque though. Um, but if you use too much of it, it's never going to cure pro properly. It's always going to stay sticky. So let's get started with what I would recommend you guys to use. So um, there is resin pigments out there, which is opaque and is actually going to cover um, your pieces perfectly. So I do have a few different business I use. There is, again, the Barnes product. So I've got here, um, this one is a red. I've got a camera here, so hopefully that works. Um, this one is a red. I'll show you the actual texture. So the Barnes product is a bit liquid, but it does the job. So when you're actually gonna mix it in your resin, you really don't want that too much. I would say you'll probably go for that. Can you see that? Yeah. Um, but we'll get to that when we do the mixing. Um, also, I have got some dust resin supplies not that long ago, which I absolutely love. Um, they're a paste, a bit thicker. So this is just an example over here. I should probably put... You can see, is that better? Hopefully. So the resin paste is a bit thicker, as you can see. Um, you're really not going to need much. Again, um, we've talked about in the previous, I think we've talked about Mika powder, which is an option. It adds a bit of a shimmer. It doesn't, per, it's not perfectly opaque. Um, it's really shiny. So I do have a few here that I got from Amazon for really cheap, about 30 bucks for the whole lot. I do use a tiny bit of it. I mostly use it in the workshops um, with younger kids to um, show them how it works. Um, again, I've got, you can actually buy some Illuminous powder, which I haven't tried yet, that's from Barnes. Uh, and from Riot Arts and Shop, um, Arts and Craft, yeah, you can get the Pearl X Pigment, which are good too. They're really um, sparkly, but again, they're not 100% opaque. So you can add them to an opaque color and it turns into a really beautiful, um, design you can put glitter. I am not particularly a fan of glitter, but um, it's personal really. And then, last but not least, alcohol ink. Some people will say do not use alcohol ink. It does. It can affect affect the um, UV quality of your resin. That's why I'd only use it to modify the color of an actual pigment. So if I go for blue and I wanted a little bit more turquoise, I might go with a bit of green in it. They're all dirty, <laughs> but still. Um, I rarely use only um, alcohol ink in my piece because it's not opaque enough. So for the alcohol ink, I use, I've got some Barnes, uh, sorry, that's some Pinata, Pinata color. I've got some Rangers alcohol ink. And these ones are just the Barnes ones. Um, the Barnes ones are good, but they do um, flow really, really quick. So you might want to be careful with those. And yeah, I hope that, oh, last but not least, the metallic pigments, they are outstanding. They come in a powder, but they do the best results ever. I don't know if you can see. Here we go. So this is a Barnes product, the, the cup is outstanding. 
And yeah, I hope that can um, help you guys get going. I will put a few suppliers. I know Art Tree Creation, Art Resin, Vines Product, Just Resin, um, just to name a few. I do have this massive list. There's Craft Online that does a few um, alcohol ink. Quickly, that's what comes to my mind. So um, let's get resin in, guys. Enjoy.